Well, it's uh, it's Monday morning after the weekend of uh, opener here in Muzzleloader in the Adirondacks, and uh, I got invited to hunt with some guys that uh, I met a few of them, knew some of them on social media. Um, I was a little out of my comfort zone to go, I don't know, go meet and hunt with a bunch of guys, but in the end I decided to go do it. I'm glad I did. I met a bunch of great people. My plan for the channel this year has been uh, it's been to show more of the culture of deer hunting, especially here in the Adirondacks, based on uh, you know what I've seen in my life. And um, this is one of those good examples of some camaraderie, a bunch of guys getting together uh, and doing some hunting that we don't know any, we don't know uh, each other or anything, but like got to meet some good people, have good conversations. <clears throat> people talking about deer stories and hunting stories and showing pictures and videos and uh you know that's really what it's um that really is what it's about uh in my opinion um it was cool we killed a, a guy killed a big buck i mean that that is super cool i mean i definitely like set the tone for the day but going forward i hope to show some culture this year of, of the deer hunting uh stuff because i don't know how much of that's shown anymore i don't watch a lot of uh you know, um, high-end television shows or high-end hunting shows anymore. I kind of quit watching that stuff probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago. So I don't watch any mainstream hunting. But, you know, I, I meet these younger guys that are coming up. And, um, you know, I, all I've had is to watch is this stuff that's this hunt, the hunting, what the hunting industry has chosen to show. So I uh, hope to show some... Um, hunting culture this year anyways that's my plan uh not saying i'm not gonna go i'm definitely gonna go do some hunting and some tracking and all the same stuff i usually do but i'm just really interested in showing more of the camaraderie of people the you know i, I really dislike the jealousy surrounding hunting um if you have to hunt, if you hunt with people that are like jealous of you doing well then like you should go find some new people you know uh it doesn't belong in hunting Je uh, jealousy does not belong in hunting um should be happy for other people that kill bucks and uh i mean if you want to be better at it then you should try to be better at it you know there's no uh there's no better way to get better than other than to go out and fail at it and it's that failure that's going to drive you to be you know a better hunter so be happy for the people that uh you know that are shooting deer whether whether they're big bucks or small bucks or whatever i mean you know as long as they're shooting a legal buck and they're happy, um, that's the way it ought to be. Anyways, I got together with these guys this weekend. And, uh, here's a short clip after the the uh, you know the deer was shot or whatever, and everybody gets together, and uh, it's just great watching everybody stand around, and have a good time. And like I said, most of these guys don't know any, they they don't know each other. I mean, a few guys do. There's some groups of people that know each other. Um, <clears throat> You know, there were some guys there from the Big Woods Bucks group. You know, they're they're mostly out of Maine, but some of them come here. Uh, now they're doing some more filming in the Adirondacks and stuff, and it was cool to meet those guys. Uh, some of those guys have been in there, you know, 20 years or something doing that type of stuff. And it was good having conversations with those type of people. And, uh, you know, then we had this big dinner after, and everybody's... Disregard that. That was my alarm to get up, but I'm in hunting mode already, so I was up at 4.30, even though I'm going to work today to do some painting. Um, but anyways, you know, after we're done, we get together and have this uh, dinner, and some other guys come in that, uh, you know, have been hunting on their own that day that we're over there, and, uh, I don't know, drank some beers and had some good food and laughs and stories and um, sat around the fire and <clears throat> Just a really good time anyway, so. <laughs> nice, boys. Heck yeah, who got that? Nice, man, congratulations. Thanks. That's a dandy, man. Hey, really? Oh, fuck yeah. Heck yeah. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. And a shed to boot. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Looks like his, doesn't it, a little bit? That's cool. Congratulations, man. Oh, he's a beautiful buck, yeah, man. Yeah, he's got this cool thing right here. Yep. From like there, 
This hook brows. Yeah, yeah, dude, the hook brow. That thing is cool as shit, right? We killed a buck right on this hill right here. Yeah. When we were young, me and him right, were yeah. hunting, and it had those hook year. brows. Hottest day of the year. Yeah. Hook brows just like that. Yep. Cool, Same man. Size too short. Little little size. I drew him a lot. Man, that's a great. That's an exit dude, or the entrance. That's the entry. He hasn't looked at his phone once. Great yeah. shot, man. Did he stop for you? Yeah. No. That was. A, that was. He was trotting. He was trotting. Yeah. He's nice man. Following him, I was and he was gonna be going into those beaches and stuff over there. I was like, I'm gonna lose him, so I had to. Get one off and Heck yeah, man! Didn't go anywhere. That was nice. Heck yeah! That was one of those shots where you're like, uh, I hope that was one of our guys. Yeah. I could just barely hear it. Oh yeah. really? <laughs> it sounded like it was way down below me to my left, so I was like, I hope it was like you or my dad or something. Yeah. See, it echoed for me way down that valley. Yeah. But I knew it was had to be one of these guys. Well, I, I knew. That's where you're like, yeah, you're gonna that number one more yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> His mouth yeah. was wide open too. Still he was like here. panting a little. Panting a little bit, yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to come through this little opening. I got, well, I can see why. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't work well for him. No, it didn't go well for him. And there was one behind him, too. And then that went back, like, over the right, other. Right behind me. Right yeah. back into where I came from. Yep. You see what that one was? Yeah, it was like a little late. Well, the sun was beaming down, and there was no leaves, so I can see him way up on a hill. And I can just see the tines, and I put my woodman. I got a wicked high power scope for no reason. I zoom in. I'm trying to pick a hole. I'm trying to pick a hole, and I just can't. It's like shooting, like you know. I'm at the base, and I'm aiming way the hell up yeah. on the top. But he wasn't as big as that. I know that for a fact. He was with a big doe, though. But I don't know what the other two deer were that ran by Brian. Those I, I never. Know. Those just kept saw going. Tail. You saw a tail. I didn't see any. And ten seconds later, we heard Lee shoot. A deer went between Nate and my dad too. They didn't see it. Yeah, it was coming like right at us. So I was like, I was ready. I was walking. I, I, I saw the track bit. ahead of me. It was great, a nice track. It looked yeah. pretty good, but I never. Yeah. Saw. Wow. Uh, I'm Jason, by the way. Jason nice to meet you, yeah, Keith. All right. Nice to meet you. Yeah, but that doesn't mean there's beasts in the tree. Well, I know.